So, so tell me, what what are what are the fans like? What are, what have your experiences with fans been in a in a wholesome, positive perspective? <laughs> what makes you think I wouldn't talk about it in a wholesome, positive uh, perspective? Your face, your face um, lit up. That's why. No, no, no. I'm, I mean, there are certainly there are some fans who have a problem with Metatron. Um, however, they have a problem with the character. They don't have a problem with me. And the greatest part of all of this is, it's the first job I've ever had, ever, where I have had an entire fandom, internet fandom, obsessed with a project I'm working on. It's never occurred before. And for me, it's delightful. I mean, it's an endless giving of enthusiasm and support and love, uh, which has never happened to me before. I mean, I've, yeah, I've been involved in projects that have had a lot of longevity, nerds and so on, and moonlighting, things like that. There are a lot of fans of those shows who've been around a long time and still have fond memories of it. But I've never seen fandom in real time the way that I'm seeing it on Supernatural. And to me, it's amazing. Wonderful. And what's the difference between fangirls and fanboys? <laughs> well, uh, the difference between fangirls and fanboys would be, uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure that there's a difference. I mean, I, I see a lot more fangirls on this show than I do fanboys. The fanboys are, I think that's how you have to delineate. I think you have to compare them by saying that the fanboys are as enthusiastic as the fangirls. And in fandom, traditionally, it was sort of always the opposite, in a bad way. It was like fanboys ruled the roost, and fangirls were always somehow suspect because they weren't real fans because they were girls. I mean, there was a great deal of, you know, misogyny, and still is some misogyny in fandom. But in Supernatural, it's amazing because it's the alternate. It's the women who are running the fandom, and the men are just following, you know, with their eyes wide open. It's fabulous difference. Do you think fan? Be, do you think being a fan girl or fanboy is empowering? Oh, fans? totally empowering. Fandom, it, fandom saved my life, and I didn't even call it fandom. But when I was growing up in the '60s, the the things that I was devoted to, like Sherlock Holmes or classic horror films or science fiction or whatever it was that I was into, and I was deeply into a lot of stuff. It saved me from I don't know what. It really did. And it gave me strength, it gave me excitement and enthusiasm. And that was when I was alone in my room. I can't even imagine what it would have been like if I'd had access to the community that the Supernatural fandom has. I never would have, I wouldn't have known what to do with that much enthusiasm and love because all I had was me, which was fine, but boy does it make a difference when there are a lot of people doing the same thing.